Hi, I'm Chris Young, founder and owner of Combustion Inc. And I'd like to thank you for being a customer and purchasing our predictive thermometer and its display and range extender. Let me walk you through setting yours up and cooking with it for the first time. You turn on your predictive thermometer by removing it from its charging sleeve. And when you put it back into its sleeve, it goes into standby mode. Your thermometer will run for about five and a half hours in its default instant read mode while the handle is near room temperature and up to 30 hours when the thermometer is left in food while it cooks. When your thermometer is in its charging sleeve, it's in a low power standby mode and will slowly lose charge over about a two week period. But a quick five minute recharge will give you almost half the power again. We're continuing to optimize power consumption and future software updates will extend some of these numbers. The display and range extender also charges via USB-C, but it takes about 90 minutes for a full charge because of its much larger battery. The low battery symbol will blink while it's charging and turn off when complete. You should expect about eight months of standby time and about two weeks of continuous run time with the backlight off. The backlight consumes a lot of power and will use up the battery in about 10 hours, which is why the backlight will turn itself off after about 15 minutes. With your predictive thermometer and its display charged, the next thing to do is associate your thermometer with your display by turning on the display and bringing your charged thermometer close to it. Once you see a temperature being displayed, they're associated. This only needs to be done once, and if you have more than one thermometer, you can bring each one close to the display to associate them. The display can manage up to four thermometers at once, with each thermometer being given a number to indicate which is which. As much as I would love to say the predictive thermometer is perfect, it isn't, at least not yet. There will be growing pains as we stomp bugs and add some important features that are currently missing. The most important functions of the predictive thermometer are software controlled and firmware updates will improve things like battery life, make the instant read filter faster, make cooking predictions more reliable and stable and add carryover cooking predictions. You should expect several firmware updates over the coming weeks and months that will continue to improve your thermometer. Firmware updates are easily applied via the Combustion app. Download and install the Combustion iOS or Android app. The link is provided on this webpage or just search the app store for Combustion Thermometer. With both the probe and timer running, launch the mobile app and tap on the setting menu and follow the steps like so. With this out of the way, let's take a quick tour of your predictive thermometer. The thermometer has eight temperature sensors with seven black dots along the probe indicating the location of each sensor. The eighth sensor is located in the ceramic handle and is heated by the plated copper screw. The thermometer is divided into two halves indicated by the minimum insertion line markings. Sensors below this dividing line must remain at or below the boiling point of water and should be fully inserted into moist food during cooking. It's water in the food itself that keeps the sensitive electronics and battery safely cooled. Sensors above this dividing line can withstand temperatures up to 572 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 300 Celsius. At the rear of the handle is a stainless steel charging contact, which should be kept clean to ensure reliable recharging. To switch between degrees Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius, press and hold the temperature button for one second. To add tenths of a degree, press and hold temperature and minute. To switch to timer mode, press the timer button, set your timer. You can clear a timer by pressing minutes and seconds together and start and stop will start and stop your timer. Press temperature to re-enter temperature mode. If you have more than one thermometer associated with your display, press the temperature button to cycle through the temperatures until reaching the second probe. Turn the backlight on by pressing the backlight button. You can change the brightness by holding the button down, pressing it again to make it brighter. If you would like to change the color of your backlight, press the backlight button and minute button together. 
The colors will begin cycling until you hit any button to select your preferred color. To unlink all thermometers associated with your display and to perform a factory reset, press the backlight and start stop button together and hold for one second. Thermometers will now need to be reassociated with your display. To turn the display and range extender off, press and hold the start stop button. To cook with your predicted thermometer, begin by inserting your thermometer at least as far as its minimum insertion line into your food. Don't worry about the position of the tip. The True Core technology will automatically find the center of the food as it cooks. Next, set your desired doneness temperature, hit start, and then begin cooking your food. As your food starts to cook, the display will show a percentage of progress towards your desired target temperature. After the prediction engine has gathered enough data, typically about a third of the way through the cook, it will make an initial prediction of the time remaining. The prediction may take a little while to fully stabilize, particularly for more dynamic cooking techniques like grilling or pan roasting, where sudden changes in temperature or flipping the food change the speed of cooking. The prediction engine will adapt and recalculate the time on the fly. While your food cooks, you can toggle between core, surface, and ambient temperatures. The surface temperature tells you the true cooking temperature the food is experiencing and is useful for sous vide-like precision cooking in ovens or smokers. The ambient temperature tells you the temperature surrounding the food. Don't be surprised that it's significantly cooler than your oven or smoker indicates. Water evaporating from the surface of the food cools the surrounding air a lot. As cooking gets closer to done, the prediction generally becomes quite stable. Carryover cooking predictions are a future software update, so be sure to leave yourself about 10 degrees Fahrenheit of margin from your desired eating temperature, especially if you plan to do a final sear before serving. Enjoy! I hope you really enjoy cooking with your predictive thermometer and thank you so much for being our customer. But don't forget to wash it and wipe it dry before you put it away. What are you doing? <laughs>